What's up, YouTube? BA Sports. Uh, haven't been on here in a while. Uh, literally just got back today from my vacation. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we took a trip. Actually, two trips. Uh, we flew to Anchorage, Alaska. We rented a car. We drove up to Denali National Park. Stayed two days in the park. Drove back to Anchorage. Got on an airplane. Flew back to Seattle, Washington. Got on a cruise ship. And then took a seven-day cruise up through the inner passage of Alaska to Juneau, Ketchikan, uh, Icy Strait Point. Uh, if you've never been to Alaska, you have to go. Uh, I had never been. It had always, I mean, since I was knee-high to a mosquito, uh, I had always wanted to go to Alaska. I don't, don't can't explain why, but it had always been the top of my bucket list. And I was finally able to do that. And I've been a lot of places. I mean, I travel for work. Uh, I travel for pleasure. And I've been a lot of places. I've been to almost all 50 states. And Alaska. I've been to Mexico. I've been to Canada. Alaska tops everything that I've ever done up to this point. Uh, very cool. Uh, I mean, I, I, I just, I took like 2,000 pictures. And all the pictures that I took does not even do justice to this place. It's every, everywhere you look, looks like a postcard. It's so majestic. Greatest vacation of a lifetime, I'm telling you. Uh, we're going to shoot this real quick video. Uh, got this in the mail while I was gone. Uh, ordered this from the team store. Uh, True North Sports, I think. True North Shop or something like that. Ordered this from the team store. So if you're interested, they have them available right now for U.S. dollars, $1.99 plus shipping. Uh, to be honest with you, you can't beat it. I already had this jersey uh, in an Adidas, but it was retail version. And I got it customized, hand-stitched through Cool Hockey. Beautiful jersey. I think, in my mind, one of the best uh, road jerseys there is. Uh, but I wanted to order this, check it out, see if it was legit. And I'm going to show that to you guys right now. It is... The Winnipeg Jets blank road jersey. It is made in Canada. Can you see that right there? Uh, like I said, you can get this right now at the Jets team store. They will ship to the United States for $1.99. And it is a made in Canada version. It is a team issued. When you go to their website, go to Winnipeg Jets, go to game used and then when the menu pops up it'll say game used team issued all that just click on team issued if unless you want a game used then they're like 600 to a thousand dollars and they have the players you know uh i wasn't giving that for a jersey because it really i just wanted a blank anyway but uh it is the real deal people and of course you follow me you know i love the white jerseys and once i got this and opened it today yes it was already open because i wanted to check it out i was so excited this patch right here, completely embroidered, perfect. Uh, beautiful jersey. I mean, it's, I have to say the Florida Panthers have the best road jersey, but this right here, this Jets jersey is definitely one of the better ones in the league. I'd say it's right up there in the top, top three at least, in my opinion. But uh, I just wanted to show you that, guys. And uh, if you're interested, go to the website. They have these available right now because I went ahead and ordered the road jersey, or the, sorry, the home jersey to match it today. Because uh, once I got it, I was like, hell yeah, it's exactly what I wanted. It's got the real deep dimples in the shoulders, just like the Made in Canada's do. I don't know how good you can see that. This stupid fucking light right here puts off a shitty fucking glare. I'm doing it on a shitty ass iPhone, so don't hate me. But uh, definitely a nice jersey. So if you're interested, go to the team store. They have these available for $1.99 US. The shitty part is shipping's like 30 bucks. So in the long run, you're paying $230 for 
for everything, but it is a made in Canada jersey, so no problem. Uh, I ordered the uh, home jersey today. Also, the Enforcer Baby, you see this, you're gonna know. Uh, thank you so much for shooting the video. I was actually at the airport uh, in uh, Anchorage the other day when I watched your video. Uh, never heard of the website before. I had been looking for one of these for, for years because uh, when I, when I became a hockey fan, uh, this team is what, you know, turned me on to hockey. This was my first hockey experience. Uh, I was a kid uh, and my, um, I had an aunt and uncle that took me to a game and uh, fell in love with the sport. I mean, it, it took one game and uh, I simply fell in love with the sport and I've been a diehard fan ever since. Uh, so Enforcer, thank you brother for uh, helping me find this website. I, I know that it's not legit, but for me, uh, I don't even give a shit about that uh, because it's close enough to perfect that it's all about a mental memory uh, of me being a kid. And uh, I just want to show you guys this. So if you follow the Enforcer, you've already seen this. But this team is what got me into hockey to begin with. This was uh, an AHL team that became a team in 96. Uh, they played their first season in 1996-97 in Lexington, Kentucky, Rupp Arena. They lasted for like five years, then they moved them off. They, they've moved 20 times since then. But I don't care what anybody says, if you know Kentucky, you know we're famous for horse racing and our thoroughbred horses. This is one of the greatest logos. I know it's corny in modern times, but in the 90s, this was the greatest hockey logo anywhere. You cannot beat it. Uh, it was the Kentucky Thoroughblades, and they were based in uh, Lexington, Kentucky for five years. Then they moved them off, I think, to Cleveland the first time, and then they moved from Cleveland elsewhere, and then they ended up in Worcester, Massachusetts, and hell, who knows where now. But uh, this was the first time I ever saw a hockey game. I went to see these guys play, and uh, if you know the San Jose Sharks, you know a lot of their players came through this uh, this club right here. Uh, Zadino Chara played for this team. Danny Boyle, uh, Evgeny Nabokov, uh, hell with a list go. Chichu, Jonathan Chichu that used to play for San Jose, he played for these guys. Uh, a couple big names went through this uh, minor league right here. Uh, it's a blank. It's not legit. It's made by a company called flow the website is vintageicehockey.com so they do a lot of vintage teams that do not exist anymore uh, mainly i think minor leagues uh i actually done spotted a couple other teams on there that uh i'm probably gonna get in the future but uh the enforcer i want i, I can't thank him enough for uh allowing us to know where he got this at and uh as soon as i watched his video i went straight there and bought this jersey. I've been looking for one of these that's legit, but they're they're almost impossible to, to even find, period, let alone in a, uh, a good condition. And uh, so I just went ahead and jumped on it because I just wanted this because this is my first memory of ice hockey right here. Uh, but thanks, Stevie. I appreciate it, man. Uh, sorry I ain't been on here in a little while for everybody. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I gotta get back to unpacking all my shit from vacation. Been at it all day. Just now found a few minutes while I'm doing a load of laundry to shoot these two videos. But if you're interested in that uh, Made in Canada Jets jersey, go to truenorthsports.com. You'll find it. Can't beat the deal if you want it. Uh, vintage Ice Hockey and check them out. I mean, they're a, a small business, but hell, I love, sport, I love supporting small businesses, so what the hell? Thank you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it.